Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got uh, two sets of uh, diagrams that involve circles and the angles. And we are going to solve for uh, x uh, one at a time. And bear in mind, we have to justify our answers as well. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that these figures uh, may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we proceed any further, let me go over the basic concepts. Let's recall the exterior angle uh, theorem. According to this theorem, exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of two opposite uh, interior angles, as you can see in this given diagram. And here we can see our angle C is the exterior angle, whereas uh, angle A and uh, B are our two opposite uh, interior angles such that uh, the angle C is going to be equal to angle A plus angle B. And now let's recall the central angle theorem. According to this theorem, the angle at the center is uh, twice the angle at the circumference. And here's our center of the circle. So therefore, uh, this angle is going to be our uh, angle at the center, whereas uh, this angle is going to be our angle at the circumference. Then according to this uh, central angle uh, theorem, if this angle at the center, if it is uh, 80 degrees, then the angle at the circumference is going to be half of that one. That is going to be 40 degrees. And furthermore, uh, this arc is going to be equal to this uh, angle at the center. If this angle at the center is 80 degrees, then this uh, arc uh, measurement is going to be 80 degrees as well. They are going to be identical. And finally, let's recall the triangle sum theorem. According to this theorem, the sum of three interior angles in a triangle is always uh, 180 degrees. So therefore, uh, the sum of all these uh, three angles, uh, if we add them, that is going to be equal to 180 degrees. And now we are going to take care of this uh, very first uh, problem. And here in this uh, diagram, we got a circle with the center O along with these uh, chords uh, A, B, B, C, and uh, A, D, as you can see in this given diagram. And these two chords uh, intersect each other at this point uh, P. And moreover, uh, this uh, arc uh, B, D measurement is uh, 88 degrees. The angle uh, C, P, D is uh, 125 degrees. And finally, this angle uh, A, B, C is being uh, represented by X. And now our task is to find the value of this angle uh, X. And now we are going to solve this problem. And let's make an observation. We can see this uh, B, D arc uh, measurement is uh, 88 degrees. So therefore, uh, the angle at the center is going to be 88 degrees as well. And now let's recall the central angle theorem. Once again, according to this theorem, uh, the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. And we can see this uh, angle is our angle at the circumference. And we know our angle at the center is 88 uh, degrees. So therefore, this angle at the circumference is going to be half of that one that is going to be 44 degrees. And now we can see our uh, this angle and this angle, they are uh, congruent angles since they are our vertical angles. If this angle is 125 degrees, then this angle has got to be 125 degrees as well. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, ABP. And let's recall the triangle sum theorem once again. The sum of three interior angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. So therefore, uh, the sum of all uh, three interior angles must be equal to 180 degrees. So therefore, I can write down angle X plus uh, 44 degree angle plus 125 degrees is going to be equal to 180 degrees. And let's combine the like terms. So x plus uh, this is going to give us uh, 169 degrees equal to 180 degrees. And now we are going to subtract 169 degrees from both sides. This is uh, gone. So therefore, uh, our angle 
x value turns out to be equal to 11 degrees so thus far uh, this given diagram our angle x turns out to be 11 degrees and that's our final answer for this diagram and here's our next diagram and here we got a circle with the center O along with these uh, secant lines uh, A, B and uh, A, C and B, D is the chord such that uh, this uh, angle uh, A, B, D is uh, 17 degrees this angle uh, D, A, B is being represented by X and furthermore uh, this arc B, C measurement is uh, 99 degrees and now our task is uh, to find the value of this angle uh, x let's go ahead and get started with the solution and now let's make an observation we know that this uh, arc b c measurement is uh, 99 degrees so therefore uh, the angle at the center is going to be 99 degrees as well and now let's recall the central angle theorem once again according to this theorem the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference and we know our angle at the center is uh, 90 degrees and this is angle at the circumference so this is going to be half of 99 degrees uh, is going to be 49.5 degrees and now let's focus on this uh, triangle ABD and now let's recall once again the exterior angle theorem according to this theorem the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of two opposite uh, interior angles and here we can see this angle is our exterior angle whereas uh, these uh, two angles are our opposite uh, interior angles so therefore according to this uh, exterior angle theorem this exterior angle is going to be equal to the sum of these uh, two opposite interior angles so therefore i can write down angle x uh, plus uh, 17 degrees interior angle is going to be equal to our exterior angle is 49.5 degrees and now I am going to subtract 17 degrees from both sides to isolate angle X and here we can see this angle and this angle they are gone so therefore our X angle value turns out to be 32.5 degrees so thus after all the calculations and manipulations our angle x value turns out to be 32.5 degrees in other words our this angle x value turns out to be 32.5 degrees and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye